page story by a guy named Jonathan Martin in the New York <laughs> Times this morning. Uh, it's fascinating reporting, uh, Jonathan. Uh, you have a senator from the state of Montana who has now uh, clearly, clearly plagiarized uh, a thesis that he used to get his uh, degree from the War College. Uh, John Walsh is the appointed senator. Democrats had hoped by appointing him that he might be able to hold a seat. Uh, this is not just about one man. This seat is part of the critical part of the calculation. Can the Democrats keep their Senate majority? Uh, tell us a bit about the story and uh, answer this question. Will uh, Senator Walsh try to stay, or do you think he will end up resigning before the election? Well, the initial reaction on the part of National Democrats is to stand by him. Uh, and Senator Walsh and his office have tried to strike a sort of international balance and effectively acknowledging what he did, um, saying it was a mistake, but also John calling it uh, unintentional or not intentional. Now, if viewers go to the New York Times today and pull up that story, if you go to the website and pull up that story, you'll right. see that you can go through the body of the story. It's and chronic. See it's not just a line or two. It is just it's, every it's, paragraph it's over and over and over. That he copied the work of others right. in, so it is it is clearly something that that a person does intend to do, uh, given the extent of it. It's going to be interesting to see, uh, given the breadth of what he did, how long Democrats can continue to say it was un unintentional, can stick by him. Uh, I think part of the issue here is that um, there's not a lot of good alternatives out there right. in terms of, of running somebody else. It's almost August now. Uh, and further, the Democrats are defending six seats, okay? Right. Uh, that's what's at stake here. Six seats for the GOP to get the majority. A lot of folks in both parties kind of already thought Montana was slipping away from their column and that this was, was going to be hard to keep. Yeah, anyways. I was going to add that. that yeah. Montana was already difficult. Now it's even much more difficult. Right, but it's one of those ones you hope to pull out of the hat if you're the Democrats. You mm -hmm. hope for a surprise out there somewhere to help you negate what's looking like a perhaps a Republican chance to take over the Senate. We'll see. And the whole yeah. point of John Walsh being appointed was 33-year right. decorated National military Guard veteran. military yeah. man, something that the Democrats don't have a lot of. They thought the resume was great a huge in, asset. in this tough year, and now it's been shredded by this story. You have personal empathy for him, but when you read your article, it is over and over and over again. We'll watch.